Hello my friends and welcome back to Factorio. In the last video we said we were trying to build the yellow science because we need some of that research to uh, help the robots out. Now I'm actually just going to cancel that because I can see it's interfered with my uh, lubricant pipe work. So the, these are the robots we started last time and you can see they've proliferated, the little squares moving around, we've got a, quite a lot of them now. Now all these flashing symbols relate to robotics if you look down here. X number of entities are missing construction robots, Y entities are missing the material for constructions. So we'll get, because we've got robotics going now, we'll, we will see these sporadically dotted around the base and quite often it will refer to modules need implementing inside buildings of some sort, either a proficiency or a speed module. Well, we, we're not really building any of those at the moment. Um, that'll come later. So where's my character? He's way up here. The other thing I've done is this various of these coal miners were running out of resources underneath them so I've plugged in some more over here on this other deposit of coal and whereas that one is powered by the solar power and overnight the accumulated power this one is running off the grid. So now because I'm in logistic range you can hear and see these robots bringing me stuff, taking surplus stuff away from me because I mentioned this last time we've got personal logistics now. These robots, these logistic robots will bring me the amount, fulfill my inventory to 300 you see. I want 50 of them. I want a consistent amount of these when I come into a logistic area so it saves me going back to the mall to gather these manually so I've specified really how much I would like of certain items and uh, no doubt I'll be adapting that along the way. Yeah so I've had to give it more sorry more coal miners and do we have a power problem? I think that one's slightly uh, offset isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, so we've now got several more miners on the job. They're going to run out soon anyway. I'll get rid of those. But I've now also got my personal robots. I've got nine construction bots, so they, they're embedded within me. They recharge from my personal grid where I've got batteries. My own little portable solar panels charging the batteries. So I've also got as a reminder, an energy shield, protective shield, my robo port to allow construction bots to work from my inventory. And I've got night vision, so we'll see when it turns night time here. It won't be as dark as it has been in previous videos. So anytime I'm in, a, in the vicinity of the red area of the robo ports, that means I'm in the logistic area. If I step into this marginal zone of green and hover over these it says not in logistic air network not in logistic network that's me I'm not within the logistic network look I'm in the green zone which is construction not logistics if I move I am in there now it can assess I've, I've got a hundred which is what I asked for so satisfaction level is 100 out of 100 on the way none but in logistic storage in those yellow chests that are dotted around the, the mall now there are 249 and they'll largely be made up of surplus ones that I had that I asked them to take away so yeah robotics is is getting going now um, now the thing I was, as you joined me, I was trying to fathom was yeah I need to get going this yellow science which I've got a blueprint here which encompasses yellow science but also the purple science and then the bits off to the left there are the bit 
the fundamental aspects that feed um, the purple science. Uh, the, the purple science has some very strange recipes um, involving furnaces, railway, track, etc. modules. Whereas the yellow requires, I think it's blue uh, electronics, robo f robot frames and robot motors, or um, I think they're called ro uh, low density structures. I think I, I've i put the comments there on that blueprint, and I think I in changed robo motors for robo frame, uh, sorry, low density structures for robo frames. So where it says on the item low density, I think I called them robo frames. <laughs> uh, and these are these robot frames. I, I looked at them and I thought they're like little turbines, little motors, so I called them robot motors. So apologies if that confuses you at any point during this. So, right, so I was speculating. We, we, it says, this is where it gets tricky because we've got so much to do all at once it seems now let's just power this um, power this uh, robo port so my my robot on board and the, you know if they're out busy and they come back they recharge from my battery power you'll see them little sparks around them before they insert themselves into my backpack but I was thinking I need, um, as you see here, oh no, stop. <laughs> yeah, because we're, in, we're now in a, my bad, because I, I made effectively by enlivening that robot port uh, a construction area for robots. They've, they've come and they've started to build this lot. Now I'm going to turn my robots off as well with that toggle. Because I, I realised after I plunked down this blueprint, it's uh, interfered with my pipes. So I need, you see here we've got it where it's meaning a assembly machine wasn't placed down. But I did think this was quite an optimal position. So I'm just going to have to get rid of my this lubricant channel and perhaps take it up that way I don't think anything in there needs needs the lubricant so we'll go back up here just have to be careful around this cliff edge go along I think on the side here of the science labs because tend not to have to put anything nearby and with pipes we'll meet up with this um, that's the old provision Right, so that's back in engaged, going up to the mall as it was, but taking a bit of a dog leg around, not to worry. Um, so we need another another lab put back in place, copy its properties across. So we've got another purple science. And what else did it destroy? So the robots have been and built all this. I just placed down the blueprint and when they were in range, they do their job. So yeah, I think I did want to put it there, but let's um, let's grab it again. And I've oriented it. Let's go over the top of that one. So we we'll restore what we had. Um, we can l let the robots do their thing. And you see, the robots can barely keep up with me with their current speed, but the base that sent out the robots that it, it was, um, you know, keeping track of, and they're going to bring items from the mall. 
So most of those, if not all of them by now, the, the mall um, chests that were being output to are now all red logistic chests in the main. So that means the robots have access to those resources to bring and construct things. So sometimes there'll be a lag, but it's going to gradually, you know, bring the, the swarm of robots down. They recharge, you see them recharging up there. But let's check. We want our robot construction zone to be covered. So we'll just get another, I think I've got a robo port. Uh, I'll just build that manually. If I ghost, put it down as a ghost, it'll, um, it'll have to think about it before it sends a robot to build it for me. Now, I've got to be careful now because we have no power over here, that's right. I need to be careful with power in general. I added another steam turbine, steam engine, over on the power generator side because we were suffering. Didn't want another power crisis. So this is our output lane of both yellow and purple. They're going to go on the, the place on the opposite side of the transport belt. So yellow will go on the far side here. Purple will go on the other side. And this is basically going to be our feed into the intake on the lab. So I can ghost build hopefully this. But there's lots lots and lots of um, wonderful and weird, weird and wonderful ingredients going to go into that blueprint to enable the actual building of Uh, th those yellow science and purple science especially so it's I'm gonna probably split this over one or two videos for the different components it really is that intense but yeah the yellow and purple are gonna feed along this in inner track in, in among the labs and make available to these whereas the upper lanes are the gray and blue the red and green of it earlier endeavors but you see in our research, we're running out of stuff we can research with just up to, up to blue. We want to get into the, the yellow for the extra logistics and rocket control. I'd like to get that going soon because building the rocket fuel uh, and the rocket control units takes uh, its own amount of precious resources. So it gets rather intensive to build. So it, I almost feel like um, before we can actually engage all this science and all the stuff that feeds into it, which will involve a load of assembly machines. If we take a look at purple science, for example, it wants rail, electric furnaces and productivity module. Uh, and, you know, the cascade of that is you need actually if we if we um the total raw material there shown on the information panel is stone bricks raw stone uh, iron plates copper plates steel plates and plastic so you can do just to produce the raw materials that go into the purple science there's going to be a lot of um transport belts going around the place and a lot of um assembly machines crafting those things and this one's quite a big deal actually in terms of resource intensive blue electronic circuits require a heck of a lot of green electronic circuits and a fair amount of red uh, the sulfuric acid I'm not really bothered about that's quite plentiful but the green the green is always it's uh, surprising how much it needs so I do have a blueprint for the blue, if you take a look. The description says that the top belt here would be a mixture on one side of red and green electronics. 
the middle belt, this one, would be entirely given over to a dual lane of green. Uh, the lower belt is the output. This is the sulfuric acid intake. So that's a bit of a design idea for the for the blue. Um, I did wonder actually if if we need this sheer volume of green or whether we can afford to wait because it's about loading speed and how well how quickly you can furnish this with with green is the main uh, draw and how quickly your inserters can grab that off the belt and put it in the corresponding assembly machine and given that you've three four five six seven eight nine down uh, 14 of these babies can't grab them too quickly, can't be too greedy with a massive stack inserter taking bunches of a dozen at a time because none will get down this end and you might as well not have these so it's a balancing act. I've even got in this blueprint on a pre from a previous game session um, that's a, called a, a requester chest so this was to top up the green so if we ever had surplus green circuits somewhere else at the end of like a conveyor belt that never got used on its way there um, you can have them pick up into a, a different type of chest and that would make it available to the logistics network and the robots would bring sporadic amounts here the inserter dropping it on the belt so it's very intensive to produce these so you can see 14 assembly machines all drawing a lot of energy and that's just those and then you've got, let's see for the yellow, that's the to produce the blue circuits. For the robot frame, not major quantities of things, but that's, uh, I do have a blueprint for that and it's quite a large structure with a lot, a lot of assembly machines again, just to provide the quantity that keeps the yellow assembly machines ticking over. And they they need these, which again not not too uh, onerous a task, but again the, the the volume of them is substantial. So let's see if the robots have built this. They have goody. I think I I did realise on my previous game where I tried this that uh, I needed. So we've got railway very heavily used over here. I think I needed more and that means you've got to input more mat raw material to build these. The rid ridiculous desire as well as the ingredient for these being furnaces, electric furnaces and productivity modules. Crazy. So that I think I might just actually leave the video there because I need a lot of time to think about strategy there and what I'm going to do, where I'm going to place these various um, other blueprints basically and I might have to clear these cliffs because it might be optimal to put them here and feed in there. So lots to do but thanks for watching to this point. I hope you enjoyed that little uh, overview really of what's next uh, subscribe if you haven't already for more give us a like share with your friends thanks so much for watching take care and i'll see you on the next video